Hi students, oh, welcome back for another session of uh, physics. This video is on uh, chapter 3 motion in straight line part 3 or video 3. In this we will go ahead with the continuation of the previous thing. I want to make something clear, uh, some things clear to you in a way that sometimes what is happening our videos are stopping at some point of time in the middle without uh, indicating without informing that it has been stopped here i wish all the students must be make must make a note of this that if any video stops abruptly continuation of that would be found in the next chapter next video so do not panic on this do not worry about this don't feel that it is stopped somewhere here for sure, continuation of that would be found in the next video. We have some restrictions on the video recordings with respect to our devices so that after some time it stops without any information to us. So accordingly, we are abruptly stopping without. So hope that's not a big issue. Simple thing. If some video stops somewhere in the middle of the topic, make sure to continue that in the next one and it will be there for sure in the next one. Uh, now coming back to academic, this is part three, right? So uh, student must go through the first two videos of this chapter to make sure that you understand your things present in this chapter and if you are not seen that it is highly advised to go through them before continuing with this part three students must go through the first two parts uh, in order to understand the things present in this part for sure for compulsory reality. and another important point to be noted is that you are uh, not uh, don't worry don't bother much about the notes because while teaching in the video lectures and all it is it may not be possible for us to dictate notes right and there are some pdfs my class notes i have collected from the previous students i have pdfs of all the 14 chapters from for this both semesters first year so according to the chapter according to the requirement according to the need i'll be providing that pdf so just a message or just information or just a comment it is just a comment away from your uh, classroom session if you comment i'm i'll post that needed notes for these chapters for all the chapters of p1p uh, 14 chapters we have notes pdfs so i'll give notes so you are supposed to sit with full concentration in the video session only keep away all the things keep things away last thing last night what you did last night what dream you got what happened in uh, pubg or what happened in fire fire free fire uh, how many emotes you got how much what you know, things you got to forget all the things keep all the things what your father scolded you why your mother uh, what all the different things had happened takes place in your life you can forget all the things when you're concentrating on the videos make sure especially this class i'm talking about if you don't have the continuity or if you don't follow this one the things what are coming here will never be taught again in your future anywhere or your entire future based on understanding the things what are going to get in today's class and uh, if by the first two videos those are the important points i wish you people to make note now the continuation coming back to academics in the first two videos we gave introduction to the different terminologies like the motion the rest position uh, path length distance that is that is displacement velocity and uh, you must know all the definitions and make sure that you are learning those definitions and all I think if we stopped earlier at the concept of uniform and non-uniform motion and graphical representation, so now we are going to continue with that. So coming back to this part of academics, now I can tell you these are the things what we are going to teach in our today's class. In today's class, that is chapter 3, video number 3, we are going to deal with these things. I am going to focus mainly on motion and non-uniform motion. Based, based upon this, how are we going to indicate the position time graphs? And to explain this position time graphs, I'm taking three different examples, three different types of graphs. And those graphs, what we've done, I'm going to show you by means of some certain uh, examples or certain, uh, some kind of a approach with respect to certain examples I'm going to teach you. So what is that? Uniform and non-uniform motion and position time graphs for this correspondence of uniform and uniform motion with three, three different types of examples. First of all, what is uniform motion? What is motion? Motion is the change in position of a body. What does it mean? At different different time intervals, body is going to have itself at different position, different location. If 
for different positions body is at the same location what is that corresponds to in physics we call that as rest position is rest possible every time for any kind of a physical body can you be in rest forever can your father mother or me anyone else can be in rest forever no we have to move pre practical life real life we call it as in real life real life is film life like r e e l real real life is film life we are not bothered about that life that many things will show which is against physics also will come across many things in that but in real life what happens in real life we do come across many practical things we see many things practically and in simple thing that practical thing is the motion movement from one place to the place is very much needed very much possible for any kind of physical object in the universe now in how many ways this motion can take place it can take place through some uniformity with that and through some non uniformity with that or in practical what is that we do come across every day every day we do come across with this or this how to understand this let us take one simple thing that this is your home and you want to go to triplet campus you want to go to triplet campus how do you go you go by bus or car and is that only a straight line path or if i suppose that this distance is 200 km displacement or distance is 200 km how to, how do you travel this 200 km at a stretch without stopping anywhere or the path followed is going to be something different it is going to have some unique path different path cannot be only the shortest possible distance may not be possible or you may have some kind of some kind of uh, random path like this now during this path we say uh, speed or velocity of us speed or velocity of us will that remain same or will that undergo change will that speed can remain constant or will you undergo a change you have to start you have to reach some value again increment decrement increment decrement keeps on changing and then we reach okay it is not possible for us to go at a certain constant speed either you go by train or bus it is not possible to go. that means the fastness at which you are undergoing to get a change with you with respect to time is called as speed or velocity now it is i would like to say that that it is not possible to maintain constant speed or velocity throughout the motion we undergo some kind of changes even for train also it starts on one station it slowly increases its velocity or speed <laughs> reaches maximum goes for constant time and again it decreases and comes back to rest between two stations it has to stop it has to start and again it has to stop increment decrement of speeds is going to take place right accordingly how are that we are going to represent that in the form of uniform what do you mean by uniform what non uniform and how is that we are going to show that i am going to take some examples here there are three different types of examples to make you understand now let us look at this first example in first example consider an object i am looking at one object let me suppose i may look at that some time initial time is always called as zero time <coughs> now the time is like 10:30 i am looking at one object in this classroom say the duster duster is there at what time at 10:30 uh, where is the duster now duster is here or uh, let me suppose it is at, at some distance from me in the form of 1 meter these things have taken in terms of meters of duster at some time initial time is 1 meter after some time of 10 seconds after 10 more seconds after 10 seconds where the duster is even after 10 seconds also duster is here only after 10 more seconds i am watching 20 seconds again duster is here only i am watching that after 30 seconds again the duster is here only it is not changing its position this is one example now let me talk about another object which is initially at at a time of when i am started observing it is here at this position now after one second i watched that i found that one to be at 2 meters after how many seconds i have observed that one after one second i found that at 2 meters after one more second that is at the end of 2 seconds i found that object to be at 4 meters and after one more second let me say 3 seconds i found that object to be at 6 meters 
this is second example where object is changing its position as as the timing for has said let me now talk about third example in which initially at some time where i am observing that initial time object is found to be at 0 meters at some location after 1 second it is now found at 2 meters after 1 more second instead of going to 4 meters it is now found at 3 meters after 1 second instead of going to 4 it is now found at 5 meters that that is sorry this is 2 seconds this is 3 seconds now what is happening body is undergoing a change in which distance traveled is not remaining same is distance for one second how much distance or displacement has traveled 2 meters for next one second how much it has traveled 1 meter difference right for next one second how much it has traveled 2 meter there is no uniformity maintained here whereas in this case body is not moving at all there is no motion associated with this particle so where is this particle now said to be no matter whatever the time interval you take in first example body is always found to be at the same location there is no change in terms of position of the body is taking place no change in terms of position is regarded as what no change in terms of position is regarded as a rest position now what is happening in this case for 1 second it has traveled a distance of 2 meters for next second again it has traveled a distance of 2 meters for third second again it has a traveled a distance of what 2 meters there are equal changes of time intervals which are resulting in equal changes of positions this is what we call it as uniform velocity or uniform let us talk about motion first this is what we call it as uniform motion why are we calling this as uniform motion because body is no doubt in motion but in what way that motion is now continuing motion has been now continuing in such a way that for equal intervals of time interval body is undergoing a change of displacement to be equal itself for equal intervals of time body displaces a change of position equally equal changes of displacements in equal intervals of time 2 meters 1 second 2 meter 1 more second 2 meter 1 more second this three we are saying one yes from 2 to 3 it is from here to here one more second accordingly if a body undergoes see concentrate thoroughly if a body undergoes equal displacements in equal intervals of time then that is said to be now the concept of what uniform motion what is this one it is what no change in position no matter for any kind of change of time interval body is always found to be at the same location and the third case is that there is some kind of equal change of time intervals <coughs> but body is un not undergoing equal changes of positions it is for first second 2 meters next second 1 meter third second again 2 meters we are not considering the next case what are happened but it is not going the same change of position accordingly this is now regarded as what you should state now it should be now regard as what <laughs> uniform motion is this concept clear now what is uniform and what is non uniform motion if a body undergoes equal displacement equal changes in terms of its position with respect to equal time intervals for every change of equal change of time interval it should undergo equal change of time position so it is equal change of position for with respect to time that is what we call it as uniform motion either one of that either distance may be same time different or time may be same you can express the same thing in one more form what that one more form i can show this third example i can say that for 1 meter it takes 2 seconds for 1 more minute it takes only 1 second for 1 more minute it takes 3 seconds for 1 more minute it takes 2 seconds now what is happening equal changes of displacements is not having equal changes of time interval or equal changes of time interval is not accompanying with equal changes of displacement if either of that is unequal if both are equal it is uniform time and position change are equal it is uniform if no change it is called as rest but if both are changing but not in the uniform form uniform method then it is called as what non uniform it is called as non uniform motion so accordingly we now we will focus on how to represent these three things in the form of a position now we got the basic idea on these two things 
with this basic idea we will now try to find out what are the position time graphs for this first of all what is a graph now what is a graph a graph is a shortcut representation or easiest representation for any kind of a dimension now if you travel from your house to here 200 kilometers how to show that showing that do not need a long page you can show that by using some systematic approach to show that in the form of a graph we actually make use of the coordinate axis in mathematics of your previous class you have come across this coordinate axis what is this coordinate axis consists of this is a uh, two chord two dimensional coordinate axis which the intersection of those two things is called as what origin which will be having the coordinates of what zero and zero what are the names of these coordinates axis we have this would be always positive this is the standard thing what you should remember coordinate axis cannot be different it should be everywhere it should be same everywhere in the universe this is positive x axis positive y axis negative x axis negative y axis in this context of one dimensional motion we do may not be using this negative terms much but later in your coming up chapters you may have to use this so accordingly uh, one more thing if you find my speech is going very fast you can pause the videos and have the look at the videos concentrate on the videos because in continuity we may miss we may go at some kind of order like that right so accordingly my speech may be a bit a bit faster than what you expect and this this would be there only for Telugu medium students because English medium students may not feel much uh, difficult in understanding this. I can teach in Telugu also, but the thing is that is not the end. I, uh, video lectures becomes more and more. I request Telugu medium students to ping me personally or comment for any other help. I'll take some other sessions uh, separately for you people. Uh, you can listen to this, concentrate. If you are as long as you are an enthusiastic learner, this is not a problem. But if you still feel you need some assistance, you can we can interact that separately. Now get back to this. What is this? This is a coordinate axis, which consists of axis like this. It, to represent a graph here, we make that this on time axis. On x-axis, we represent the time, and on y-axis, we represent the position. <laughs> We represent time along x-axis and position along y-axis. Now I want to show you the graph of the first one for an object at rest. Question is something like this. What is the position time graph of a body which is at rest? Question is what is the position of a what is the position time graph of a body which is at rest? How to show this? This thing can be shown in the form of a graph. This is what position diagram. I am now trying to show you this thing in the graph here. What is that? Let us do. Let us take. I have taken some time. Let us suppose that instead of 10, 20, 30 seconds, let me take this for 1, 2, 3 seconds. Carmine in second. That is, this is time. Initial time is 0, 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds, 5 seconds. And position is here 1 meter, 2 meters, 3 meters, 4 meters, 5 meters. Now what you have to do? You have to identify at what second where the location is. At initial time of 0, where the location of the body is? Location of the body is at 0 time is here. Body is at 1 meter. Concentrate. Focus. Listen. At 1 second, after 1 second also body is at 1 meter only. Time is 1 second. 1 second is here. At 1 second, where is the location? Is here. 1 meter only, right? 1 second, 1 meter. While corresponding on y axis is 1 meter. <laughs> 2 seconds, again 1 meter, 3 seconds, 1 meter, 4 seconds, 1 meter, no matter different, different time positions, meter is, now the line joining of all these things, the line joining of all these things, or oh, let me just write a simple, single line to overcome these things, oh, right, this is one point, one more point, now what is this line actually, this is what we call it as the graph of a body which is at rest position the position time graph of a body of an object which is at rest position is given what is what is what is this kind of a graph called as what kind of line you have got this is a line what is obtained what kind of line it is it is a straight line present how it is present it is present parallel to x-axis parallel to x-axis and what is present on x-axis 
on x axis time if a, if you find if you come across a line which is parallel to time axis then what kind of a body that is that is a body which is at rest position this is the first answer now your question is question is something like what is the graph of a body which is at rest position the answer for this question is that the uh, for a body which is at under rest position graph is going to be straight line passing parallel to x axis passing parallel to x axis where does it x axis is going to be now depending upon the position where it is it may be at 2 meters away from you here you will be 3 meters away from you it is at rest only now i am looking at a book which is at 1 meter away from me for different different time intervals that is at 1 meter only at 10 20 10 30 10 40 accordingly i got like this if that book is 10 meters away from me i'll get here so what point you should note is that the position time graph of your body undergo at rest is given is given by means of a straight line which is parallel to time axis or in this case it is now going to be parallel to x axis it is also called as a horizontal line <coughs> it is also called as a horizontal line <coughs> now let me take up this is the first graph for first example now let us take up second graph i'll just put some differentiation here now let us take second example second example what is the second example body moving in front the question is what is the position time graph show the position time graph of a body undergoing uniform motion how to represent uniform motion in terms of position time graph again what you have to do take the coordinate axis this is time axis this is position what are the various values are taken here 0 to 6 meters and from 1 to 3 seconds accordingly what i'll do is i'll take this is zero time 1 second 2 seconds 3 seconds 4 seconds and goes on and this is 1 meter 2 meters 3 meters 4 meters this is in terms of meters this is in terms of seconds you need to have written now try to plot the points there try to plot the points for uniform motion at zero time where the location is at zero time location is at origin at zero time this is the zero time and position is also zero here itself both are zeros at one second location is where after one second location is found to be at what distance 2 meters after one second location is 2 meters is this clear one second location is 2 meters i'll extend this let us suppose 5 meters 6 meters and this is position right after 2 more seconds 2 seconds sorry 1 second right 1 second 2 meters after one this one after 1 second 2 meters after 2 seconds 2 seconds where the location is going to be after two locations 2 seconds location is going to be 4 meters check out 3 seconds 6 right now what is that plot you are going to get you are going to get a plot which is going to pass like this so what kind of graph you have got now the position time graph of a body undergoing uniform motion is given by what kind of a line it should be a a uh, straight line what is this called as it is a straight line passing through passing through origin with certain slope important term this is what is certain slope this is a straight line which is passing through origin right but what it is having having certain slope what do you mean by slope of this one slope of this line is given by means of certain angle here theta this is what we call it as slope if theta is more if theta now what is this theta actually theta is a angle made by this line with positive coordinate axis always this is again general convention in order to measure the angle made by anything we should always take with respect to x axis and in what direction this is now going to be in 
anti clockwise direction you should know again clockwise and anti clockwise direction moving like this is clockwise direction moving like this is how does your clock moves like this the clock moves that is what we call it as clockwise direction going in this way is called as what counter clockwise or anti clockwise anti or counter clockwise in physics to find the angle the general convention followed is always with respect to positive axis and again in terms of what in anti clockwise direction now there are two angles for the what i'm trying to tell you is here is one angle you can take one more angle here also which is right now we have convention to overcome this one angle made by any line is always taken in the form of anti clockwise direction with respect to positive direction now from this now uh, as an example if there is one more line here what is the angle made by this line from here you draw a to find the angle this line this angle is what we call it as anyways you might be knowing this even if you don't know try to focus on this and anything on this we should know that i am trying to tell you that there is some kind of a line up to it passing through origin with certain slope slope is important here slope is the slope is called as steepness in the curve slope slope is called as what steepness how much now i mean to say that if you have a line like this this slope is different if you have a line like this its slope is different now three different lines i have shown line a line b line c three are having different what three are straight lines only three are passing through origin only three are straight lines three are passing through or but what is making them to be different that is that concept of steepness more steepness more speed if a body have got more slope then it is going to have more speed or more velocity as it that less speed how, how can i say that more steepness corresponds to more speed let us see this let us just ignore these parts these two parts let us say now uh, what is the conclusion of this part conclusion of this part is that motion of the position time graph of a body undergoing position time graph of body in uniform motion is given by a straight line passing through certain slope slope is the angle made by this line with respect to positive x axis in anti clockwise direction if slope is zero this is the line this is the line if slope is zero it should pass like this if slope is 90 it should pass along y axis if slope is 45 exactly between of these two accordingly can a body move if it is having this slope or can it fall easily if it having this slope more this is what less slope less slope slope is increasing slope is increasing slope is increasing slope has reached maximum more slope more stiffness more speed accordingly you should now understand that slope of this line we can identify what this slope parameter also gives rise to let me just elaborate on this slope let us elaborate on this concept of slope slope at any point let me suppose in between these two locations i want a slope of this what did i can do let me suppose upon this line this is the first coordinate called as y1 this is the another coordinate called as y2 because i'm it is having in y axis i'm taking this initial position as y1 find position in between these two points i want to find the slope now <coughs> this corresponds to one second and this corresponds to two seconds i want to find the slope of this one you can extend and this to meter this location this is what the slope we are saying between two different positions slope is given by means of theta and this is clearly a right angle triangle wherein having angle theta and we know from the basic trigonometry that tan theta is equals to tan theta is equals to opposite by adjacent tan theta is equals to opposite by adjacent what is opposite of tan theta here this is y2 this is y1 this is y1 this is y2 this can be called as what delta y it is delta y is equals to what this is equals to delta y by and what is this position this is t1 this is t2 
this we regard this in the form of delta t that is delta t actually this is equals to final position minus initial position by final time minus initial time <coughs> slope of this is given by means of tan theta which is giving rise to what delta y by delta t can you refer what this delta y by delta t corresponds to delta y by delta t corresponds to the change of position with respect to change of time change of position with respect to change of time what is change of rate of change this is nothing but rate of change of displacement of the body if it is rate of change of displacement of the body then what should slope represent now slope should now represent a parameter called as velocity important point what is the slope of position time graph of a uniform body uniform motion gives the slope of a position time graph of a body undergoing uniform motion gives rise to what kind of parameter now gives rise to velocity all right here if you are not able to see i'll just write in the upper direction that is slope of a body undergoing slope is equals to slope is equals to it is clear that it is delta y by delta t delta y indicates a change of position delta t indicates change of time accordingly change of position for time is called as velocity we know accordingly the meaning is slope of a body undergoing uniform motion will be giving rise to what kind of physical parameter now it is going to give us rise to velocity the understanding this concept is important this is the second example we have seen two graphs the conclusions of position time graphs for two examples is that for a body at rest its graph is going to be a line parallel to the time axis or parallel to the x axis in this case or from next time onwards if you come across any kind of a graph like this with position here with time here if you come across any kind of an example like this position and time then it means that then it means that you are now talking about you are now talking about what a body which is at rest position right continuation we have seen two graphs because i got some instructions from the other faculty so i i was paused uh, that is the reason behind my smile uh, before this part so let us now continue right after two things this is a th two conclusions of the first two examples right the two conclusions of the first two examples is that rest and uniform motion uniform motion you are going to get a straight line which is passing through certain slope then third one third examples what is this case now we are going to plot the graph of a body undergoing non uniform motion let us check how to do that 0 seconds it is at 0 at a time of t is 0 position is 0 after 1 second it is found to be where i said it i found it after 1 second body is at location 2 meters after one more at the end of 2 seconds it is at what location 3 seconds 3 meters sir it is at See, I'm I'm putting this dot exactly above. I have to put this dot exactly at one second, two meters. Next one, three meters, and this is what the location is. One of that corresponds to two seconds, other corresponds to three meters. Next, after two more seconds, at the end of three seconds, position is at five meters. So it is five meters. Five meters is somewhere here. Now, what kind of a graph you are going to get? you are going to get certain kind of a graph which goes like this we are going to get certain kind of a graph which goes like this so this is the thing now or apart from these two whatever will be the type of graph you get some or you are going to get some kind of a curved line curved graph indicates this curved graph indicates what curved graph now indicates the concept of non uniform motion curve graph indicates what now there are three examples taken for three these three types of example these are the important parts once you understand this then only you can go for the other part once you understand this basic graphs this is the basic graphs of position and time with respect to three different examples one is a case of a rest position other is a case of uniform motion 
third one if you get a straight line passing through origin it is called as uniform motion if you are getting some kind of a curved graph like this it is now called as non uniform motion if you get an axis now i want to give you some more examples to make you understand this concept i will give an example here two examples here try to find out what those indicates or you can say whether that graph is possible or not i just want to give you two examples here just make a note of this one you can consider this as an assignment and under that assignments try to get answers and you can comment or you can give me uh, answers in the classroom comment section like how what is that don't put comments in the youtube much because uh, that leads to other people also to get much distractions put your comments in the respective uh, classroom sessions only right okay now under this one i want to ask you a question that is this graph possible is this graph possible yes or no what kind of graph it is i want to take a graph where is time is here and position is here and i have taken it in the case of a line parallel to time i want to take a graph which is parallel to position a line passing parallel to position is this graph possible or not is what you need to comment comment whether this kind of a, whether this kind of a position time graph with an axis with a line which is passing parallel to position is possible or not if s yes, why it is s yes. if no why it is no it, it could the answer could be only one two things either s yes or no but the thing is you should say why it is s yes. why is it possible if you say s yes. if you say no why it is not possible right this is the uh, first uh, work i want to give you next one i just wanted to make you understand what kind of graph identify the various locations in the graph can you see the board can you see the board yes yeah you are able to see this so accordingly i wanted to give you a graph here this is again around time this is like uh, talking about position with respect to this position and time graph if some graph is given like this it is passing like this it is enhancing and reaching curvature and going like this now identify uh, let me take like this i'll just cut short this instead of passing through origin i'll take like this what identify the various locations in this graph identify various types of graphs what are the different things present in this to make you understand i'll give some terminologies a to b let me say this is c let me say this is d let me say this is e let me say this is f now what is that you need to say what do you need to identify you need to identify what this a to b graph is what this b to c graph is what this c to d graph is what this d to e graph is what this e to f graph is you should identify what kind of graphs these are these are indicating and comment that with your answers you make a note of these answers and you can note this in your classroom sessions also in your class notes also are any doubts in this or feel free to ask a uh, continuation of this would be done in the next video accordingly uh, make sure that you are learning these things i'll get back with the next video video 4 there are two parts under video 3 because of time short it was it was cut into two parts and uh, these two parts mix up will be giving rise to third unit and third part so third chap third part third video it is and a fourth video will now go ahead further with the some more graphs like this we have just seen the concepts of only position time graph now we come across next velocity time graph then acceleration time graphs all these time graphs and ultimately all these things we are learning under the heading called as kinematics right i had told you you have to understand the terms present and kinematics is a term what i have not defined kinematics is that branch of physics which deals with the uh, motion of a body without 
the concept of the cause of motion what is making that one to move is not bothered that is external thing what is acting to make that motion is not but that is learned under another heading that is called as dynamics mechanics has two important branch called as dynamics and kinematics dynamics is that deals with the motion of you know, that is the motion of a body because of the action of external thing but here we are not bothered in kinematics is that branch of physics which deals with the I'll give the notes for all these definitions, not to bother. Just concentrate on the videos and learn the things. Kinematics is a branch of physics which deals with the motion of the body irrespective of the cause of motion, without the cause of motion. That, that's all for this session. Looking forward to meet you in the next session very soon. Happy learning. Stay safe. Thank you.